There's Chippy from ultrabooknews.com here. We're at the Intel Software Summit in Alicante. I'm just having a look at a really, really interesting app, which is running on a Sony Vio uh, Duo, Pro, uh, Duo here. Uh, it's the latest Haswell version. The app is called Critter, and it's an open source uh, graphic design, painting, drawing app. And uh, we've got Ramon Miranda here, who's a graphic artist. Um, He's been, been using this app and demonstrating some, some, some fantastic images, actually. Um, here he's using it with his, with his fingers, um, with the touch user interface. And one of the really, really cool things about this app is that the user interface will change if you move to sort of desktop mode. So here Ramon's doing some sort of some work with his fingers. As you can see, it's pretty smooth, and he says he's pretty surprised at how good it actually works on, on the Ultrabook. Uh, usually he's using a, a desktop to work with this. As I said, it's an open source software. Krita is the name of the software. And there's uh, some use of the finger there to get... Uh... If we just change the user interface now and lift the screen up, as you know, this is a, a slider, and we'll just, just lift the screen up there, you'll see the user interface has changed completely. Now, this is really important uh, when, when you think about two-in-one PCs, convertibles, detachables. And now we've got a situation where Ramon can actually get his favorite Wacom digitizer. He is not using the Entrick digitizer on here because it doesn't support the uh, touch sensitivity and all the other features. He is now able to go into sort of full desktop mode here and get very, very uh, specific in, uh, in how he works with his images. So in that uh, tablet mode, he was uh, telling me that you know, he uses it really for basic design, uh, sketching, and then moving into desktop mode, obviously, to do uh, the finer, finer details on there. So there's a look at that uh, Wacom digitizer there. It's attached to a USB port on the back of the Sony. As I mentioned, that entry digitizer, unfortunately, on the Sony Voyager is not supported uh, in terms of touch sensitivity, uh, pressure sensitivity on on the built-in uh, on the app there. So you can actually get more information on the app at critter.org, and you can actually uh, check out Ramon's work. He's a graphic designer, Ramon Miranda, and you'll find him on Twitter and on Google Plus for more information. So that's Critter running on the Sony Vio uh, Duo there at the Intel Software Summit 2013.